After that initial phone call, I knew that we were going to be okay. However, we felt as though we were two people in the middle of a lake drowning. Yeah. We recognized that our pain was very different from each other and that we needed help. And I'm so thankful you know, that we asked for that help. I, mean, I still remember those first few days after I had told you about the affair and just the desperation I felt like I can't take back time. I think that was the hardest thing. I wish I wouldn't have done what I did, but I couldn't erase my mistake. Right. And um, I thought that was the scariest thing, telling you about the affair. Um, but two weeks later, uh, we were in a doctor's office and I found out that as a result of the affair, I was pregnant. And we knew it wasn't from Bob and it was a situation where the kid, the little baby would not look like the other kids. And so because of that, I remember, literally remember the moment of walking this each step to my car from the doctor's office to the car and I was hanging on to you. I remember just leaning on you saying, mm -hmm. the doctor had said, do you want to continue the pregnancy? And you just said, yes. And I just remember there was some strength coming from you, which I didn't know where that came from, but I didn't think I could face my life. And it was just a few days later, I was alone in, in my kitchen. Nobody was there. And I made a phone call to an abortion clinic. I don't believe in abortion, but I really didn't think I could face the new reality of, put it this way, I just wanted the whole world to know that God loved them. That was my whole life goal. And now I was just going to be a disgrace to the body of Christ. And that wasn't what I wanted. And I didn't understand what to do. And I called out of desperation and they said, it's such early detection that we can just send you 10 pills and your problem will be over. Well, I fell to my knees. I said, I can't do this, but I'm so grateful because it was just a few days later that an unexpected God moment is what I call it, alone with my dad in a car. And he was consoling me and he was encouraging me and he was loving me. And I just remember telling him, I said, Dad, I, I can't do this. I can't live through this. And he put his arm on my shoulder and he said one thing. One sentence changed everything for me in that moment because he said, Audrey, that's what you did, but that is not who you are. Other people will judge you by this mistake, by this pregnancy, by this life-altering thing. People will judge and disqualify you, but God never does that. He just calls you his child and he says he, he will always love you. And I hung on to that promise for dear hope because we weren't so happy together no we weren't safe together no i felt scared and interrogated mm -hmm. but i knew we were going to be okay well we were living with a, a new normal um, you know this type of confusion and complication had entered our lives that you know we really uh had never navigated you know never really even had to help others navigate through it so where do you go next and our pain was so very, very different and very, very real. We weren't comfortable with each other. We weren't safe with each other. But this one thing we did know is that we did not want a divorce. Would we ever be happy again? I don't know. Would we ever smile and laugh again? I don't know. But would we be able to salvage enough that we would be able to preserve a family for our children and for our future generations? I don't know. Because I know what it's like to receive a phone call from a father to say, I just wanted you to know that I'm leaving your mom. I never wanted to make that phone call, but I didn't know if we could make it.